hairstyle ever or no but no I'm going to show you how to do fuck I'm going to show you one of the quicker hairstyles because I go blank Oh my gosh, the one earthquake just happened right now when I was recording. <laughs> hey dolls, so today I'm going to show you my go-to pinup hairstyle when I'm in a rush and when I'm on second day hair or third day hair. Meaning I didn't wash my hair the same day. It's either been about a day or two since I've washed my hair. So this hairstyle is perfect because you can turn something like this into something like this. So in total, this hairstyle takes about 15 minutes. If that, you probably do it sooner. So this style is just, you can cover up so many imperfections in your hair. It's, and you're gonna see right now what I started off with and how I turned that nasty hair into this. So let's get started. First, we're going to start off by parting this top section and this is going to become our bank. Next, we're just going to get all the rest of the hair out of the way and we're going to split these in vert vertical sections and we're going to curl them. And you don't need to hold them there for a long time and you don't need to pin them because we're going to mold them right now. Once complete, we're going to grab the first section and we're going to spray some hairspray and we're going to start teasing a little bit, just right at the root. And once we've teased, we're going to take a soft bristle brush, spray some hairspray, and just smooth out any flyaways and make everything clean and neat. Then we're going to begin rolling down just to give that little swoop and curl in the front. Then we're going to pull some excess hair on the side of our bang and flip it the opposite way so that it gives an outside curl. And once you get the curl shaped the way you like, we're going to bobby pin it just for security reasons. Next, we're going to style the rest of our hair. So we're going to take the back section down and we're just going to grab small pieces, medium to small pieces. Take your curling iron and all you really need to do here is just curl the ends. So maybe go about halfway up. You don't need to curl at the root because that is just going to get covered by your scarf. So we're gonna make sure to do this for every single piece that we have left. Now once complete, I'm going to start off on the sides. So I'm going to grab a few curls on the right side and I'm going to bobby pin this up right in the middle. And I'm going to take the left side and do the same. I always like to start with the sides. I feel like it's a lot easier and a much smoother process. Once the sides are up, we're going to do the back and we're just going to start grabbing some medium sections and bobby pinning them. So once we have everything up, I'm going to take all the curls up at the top and grab each section and just start splitting them apart. This is just going to make it seem like you have a lot more curls than you really do. And as you can see, they don't look perfect, but the scarf is going to make them look pretty good. So here's a nylon scarf. You can search for these on Etsy or eBay. Just look for a vintage nylon scarf. So I'm going to fold it in a triangle and then fold the end down and then I'm going to wrap that around and make sure not to get your bang. So pull it behind your bangs 
and just kind of give it a tight little squeeze, not too tight. And we're going to tie that in a bow. And as always, to give more design, I like to pull the bow apart a little bit. And next, since there's too much hair sticking out for my liking, I'm just kind of tucking certain sections in. And I'm going to spray some hairspray just to make sure I have a nice, good, firm hold up at the top. And I'm going to use a bobby pin and pin right below the bow because I don't like when my bobby pins show. I just don't think it looks clean. And I just hide it. And this is the back. And here's the sides. So here's the final look. Hopefully you all enjoyed this. Let me know, comment down below. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe already and make sure to give this video a thumbs up. So as always, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos and see you soon.